Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Bombers are among the most feared of all aircraft, and with very good reason. Modern bombers can carry tens of thousands of pounds of high explosives, including laser-guided munitions precise enough to strike a single vehicle in a convoy or penetrate a bunker. The purpose of bombing missions can be offensive or defensive, proactive or reactive. Either way, these planes are extremely vital to any Air Force's mission, and they need to be protected. One of the most iconic bombers in the United States Air Force fleet is the B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber. First introduced in 1997, this B-2 is easily recognizable thanks to its unique flying wing design. It also boasts an incredible range and can carry up to 40,000 pounds of bombs inside its two internal bomb base. Despite being in service for nearly 30 years, the B-2 remains one of the most well-protected military aircraft in the world. Whenever possible, the loading and unloading of munitions is performed within the safety of massive, specially designed hangars. The B-2 boasts an impressive 172-foot wingspan and measures nearly 70 feet long. Depending on the configuration, it can carry up to 80 500-pound class bombs, 36 750-pound bombs, or 16 one-ton nuclear or conventional bombs. Given the aircraft's ability to travel up to 6,900 miles before requiring refueling, the B-2 can penetrate deep into enemy airspace and do incredible damage to various targets. Meanwhile, its special stealth design and radar absorbent fuselage can help it perform its duties without risking detection. All military aircraft are kept under close watch, but the state-of-the-art technology in the B-2 makes it a significant asset. As such, it is rarely put on open display for the public. Instead, it is kept in its secure hangars whenever possible. Fortunately, military bases are among the most secure locations in the world. But despite the fencing and perimeter defenses that might be in place, the Air Force feels it is essential to have guards watching the B-2 at all times. This not only prevents unauthorized access from bad actors, but also helps keep the planes safe from US Air Force personnel that might not have the proper clearance. The hangar is not only about privacy, however. 
They also provide protection from adverse weather conditions, such as extreme temperatures and UV radiation. Exposure to these elements over time can cause damage to the aircraft's exterior, leading to corrosion, fading of paint, and deterioration of critical components. Considering the amount of advanced technology in the aircraft's radar reflective fuselage, this is especially important in the case of the B-2. The estimated cost of a single B-2 bomber is more than $2 billion. Not only is it one of the most advanced and expensive aircraft in the world, but it is one of the most dangerous. From hangars to guards to 24-hour surveillance, the United States takes its protection very seriously. Though it doesn't carry bombs, the C-17 Globemaster is one of the most important planes in the United States Air Force fleet. This massive cargo aircraft is primarily intended to move troops, equipment, and vehicles from one place to another, sometimes during a battle. At 174 feet long and boasting a wingspan of 169 feet, The C-17 is ideal for strategic airlift missions, with a capacity to carry up to 134 troops at once, or up to 300,000 pounds of equipment, vehicles, and fuel. Given its size, the C-17 also requires enormous hangars in order to stay protected from the elements. Though it was first introduced in 1995, the C-17 still contains various sensitive and critical components. And since it is often tasked with operating from austere airfields and forward operating bases, it is imperative that the Globemaster be kept inside whenever possible. The C-17's unique wing design, with the wings placed high on the fuselage, adds to the overall stability of the aircraft, especially when it is carrying heavy loads. This is especially beneficial when taking off and landing on smaller and less well-equipped runways than those seen at the world's larger air bases. Like all aircraft, the C-17 follows a regular schedule of upkeep, inspections, repairs, and servicing. Whether the plane is military, commercial, or civilian, frequent maintenance is crucial to the safe and efficient operation of the aircraft. This is yet another situation where hangars are essential. Whenever maintenance requires exposing a plane's inner parts, it is imperative that the work be done indoors. Sand, dust, dirt, and even excessive moisture in the air can be incredibly detrimental to the future operation of the plane, and therefore, the safety of the crew and their mission. Hangars also provide ample space and facilities for maintenance personnel to work efficiently.
When working indoors instead of on an airfield, they can ensure that they have the necessary tools, equipment, and lighting to conduct inspections, repairs, and servicing effectively. And while the C-17 does not boast the same level of advanced technology as the B-2, performing maintenance in a hangar offers a level of security and confidentiality. By keeping repairs indoors, maintenance technicians can ensure the protection of classified information and components. Though hangars are associated mainly with keeping aircraft and equipment safe, this isn't always the case. When fires break out in closed areas like airplane hangars, they can do millions of dollars of damage in just a few minutes. This is only exacerbated by the presence of jet fuel and in some cases, munitions. For this reason, most modern military hangars are equipped with foam fire prevention systems. These unique fast alert systems are designed to rapidly extinguish fires by creating a thick, expanding foam layer that cuts off the fire's oxygen flow. The goal of this test is to make sure the foam will be able to cover at least 90% of the aircraft's silhouette and hangar floor with a minimum of three feet of foam. In order to meet Air Force specifications, the fire suppression system must accomplish this in just four minutes. Foam fire suppression systems have proved highly successful through the years, but even they are not immune to accidents or malfunctions. One particularly stark example occurred in 2014 at an Oklahoma National Guard Air Base in Tulsa. During a test of the base's alarm system, Something accidentally triggered its foam suppression system, resulting in thousands of gallons of foam extending out of the hangar and onto the tarmac, where it buried three Black Hawk helicopters. The other downside to foam fire suppression systems is that they sometimes make search and rescue efforts difficult. For instance, if a fire were to break out in a hangar and result in foam discharge, any personnel stuck inside might have trouble finding their way out. And since the foam is designed to cut off oxygen to all areas, those personnel would be in severe danger. Search and rescue firefighters must also bypass the foam to pull out potential victims. This would involve using hoses to dissipate the foam barrier and forge a path through. Given the rate at which this foam is designed to expand, this could quickly become a hazardous rescue mission. In recent years, firefighting foam has proven itself more and more valuable to both civilian and military fire prevention. Still, researchers are constantly exploring new ways to enhance fire detection, decrease response times, and increase the rate at which the foam can do its job. They are also working hard to minimize the chemical content in the foam so that it will have a less damaging effect on the environment during deployment and cleanup.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.